I didn't think that they would win back-to-back games at home. I thought Golden State would wake up after that game three loss and be Golden State, what yep. we normally see, a team that is deadly from the arc and also Kevin Durant just being the greatest player in the world at this point. So I was throwing dirt on the grave for the Rockets. I thought they were done, and the Houston Hive on Twitter was coming at me. Like, Cam, what are you doing? What do you hey, mean it's over? What they, do you mean it's over? And, and they Houston gave it to I, me right oh, after last night. You, the they definitely yeah. come at yeah. you. But at the same time, though, the inconsistency that I saw in games one and two was the kind of the factor for me where I didn't think that Houston would be able to string along two more games or three, four straight games to win this series. And Golden State, when they get back home, we're going to see what kind of team they are. Anybody seen Klay Thompson? Where, where's he been? I just don't think that style of basketball that the Rockets are playing is going to win. It's not conducive to winning yeah, the they're championship. They're more physical now. It, I'm talking about an offense. You don't like the three ball. You got just four guys standing like, around well, watching James three Harden. John's right. It's, James it's Harden, just everybody just watch right. dribbling for 17 seconds. And when he hits a shot, it's awesome offense. Yeah. But, I mean, he's going to have to shoot a high percentage of shots. It's, it's too much of an onus is on him. I, like I've been saying, they got to put more of a, more, of a, more emphasis on getting Chris Paul the CP. ball, let yeah. him facilitate, score, yeah. get other guys involved, have James Harden sitting in the corner, getting a break some time, and maybe he can just shoot a catch and shoot three. He hasn't done that like all series. Listen, all right, if James guys, Harden has a bad game, they're uh, doomed. Let's yes. get it over to uh, Jules and Monica, guys. So, I got to get comfortable. <laughs> I got to get, get comfortable because now, here's my question coming off of that conversation with our guys. John, I, I got to dig into that a little bit when I see you. Uh, <laughs> does James Harden now then shake this idea face that off, he's – We're face off? Time Are we facing yeah. off? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we, we face off when there's a little bit of a – The living room in the kitchen. Just a, just a little together. bit. You know, we're Monica, at the island. John, go ahead. All right, so this is my question. How is James Harden holding on to the basketball that much different from Gian- what Giannis does? Because Giannis is going to the hole immediately. Okay, fantastic. He's, and he's not shooting 35-foot contest, 35 contested threes that he's going to shoot a low percentage on okay. and hoping he get fouled. And he's not getting back on defense. Okay, yes. But his team understands what he's going to do, right? So if the Rockets understand what James Harden is presenting, and we see P.J. Tucker putting a performance like he did last night where they're just crashing the boards with reckless abandon and outworking the Warriors, so you're the why Rockets can't they? I can't say that. Oh, because <laughs> they're not going to win with that style of basketball. That's all I'm saying. I think you they win another game. You with can't the win with four guys just standing around holding holding their shorts, waiting on James Harden to make another night, miraculous shot. I think if you're that's not basketball. If you're attacking the glass, you have to come in here even taller. Look at this, uh, little, little Patrick, heel action. Patrick Olo here. You know, little, Look, little, I mean, little heel action. <laughs> Good thing I painted my toes when I came in here. <laughs>